Hey gamers, do you guys hate events? Well, I sure do. It's like you're chilling at your base, now there's a solar eclipse, and now all your NPCs are dead. But I was thinking, which event is the worst? Which is why I devised a tier list to make to make them all um, ranked. Not about to re-record this again. All right, gamers. So for this. First of all, the events I don't think are events. They say not events. The Goblin Army. This is probably the first event you'll ever encounter. I'm putting it in E. For annoying. No, wait. Stupid. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have it E here. So, this is probably one of the worst events in the game. You know why? First of all, they're the stupid little guys that shoot, shoot the, the, the little balls, the little uh, purple things towards you for the walls, right? I think that's just stupid. Um, number two, goblin peons, they break your doors. And number three, they just kind of come out in at random way. So the goblin tanker siphons away all of your money. Like, what the heck? Ugh. Anyways. Also, uh, I don't think Torch God is doing anything. So, that good. Alright, I think I've made my point clear on why I dislike the goblins. So next is the slime rain. I think this is actually a B tier event. It's pretty good, honestly. It gives you free gel. Slimes cannot fall through platforms, so if you have an arena, chances are they're not even going to bother you. I don't even get a free King Slime Summon, which can give you a lot of gel and a little bit of money in case you're low. So yeah, honestly, pretty good event. You can get like wormhole potions and bombs and other random slime drops from these guys. And Pinky even has a chance to spawn to give you pink gel and slime staff. Also, just a quick side thing. Why on earth did they change the recipe for the Molotov cocktail? Now what am I supposed to do with pink gel? Ah, so stupid. Anyways, so yeah, slime rain, pretty good event. There's not really much to talk about it here, but yeah. The, f the free amount of gel and the free king slime spawner is really, really nice. I'm actually going to move Goblin Army up to Annoying to make room for um, make room for worse events. Uh, uh. Um, hello, could you, um, could you move? Uh, hello? Alright, I guess I'm not going to make another one. Why don't I just... Coding overload, bro, I'm in a browser. What do you mean in coding overload? Alright, here we go, I'm back. Next we have the Blood Moon, and this is all going in a solid A tier. This is a pretty good event in all honesty. The knights are normally pretty boring if as soon as you are able to kill zombies and demonize, and having an influx of spawns is great. You get plenty of rare drops, and, and there's even a specific mini boss in hard mode that gives you a really, really good summon. The Sangam Staff is amazing! You can either even also get some okay stuff in um, free hard mode too. Yeah, you can get um, banana ring and KO cannon and cool stuff. You can also get shark tooth necklace, which is amazing. Shark necklace is probably one of the best accessories. Probably not actually. There's a lot of good ones. It's a pretty good accessory. So yeah, I mean, pretty good. But now we've got the opposite: solar eclipse. And I think the solar eclipse is honestly a perfect. Terrible event. Screw this one. I'm gonna make a new tier just for how bad this will look. Hold on. Uh, how do I do this? Add a row below. Uh, 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 orange. It's going E and Solar Eclipse goes in F. This event sucks. So daytime, right? The one, the one section of the day that you have for NPCs to move in, you have for I don't know, just peacefulness, so you don't get swarmed by monsters. At nighttime, it is still a little annoying, but yeah, mainly it's for your NPCs to move in so that when these happen and when pirate maps and this crap happens, you get half time for your NPCs to move back in. This, and besides, the night is shorter than the day, anyways. At least I'm pretty sure it is, maybe slightly. I don't know, I'll put the thing on screen, but yeah, it turns the one part of your day that's good into a part of the day that's evil. And I'm not saying, oh, all the items suck, no, the items are pretty good on, on all honesty. What you get the wings that are okay, you get the um the, the shell, the um the moonstone. 
Um, some of the weapons are pretty cool. Magnet Staff kind of sucks, but you get Death Sickle, you get Psycho Knife. Mothra is a great one. You get Terra Blade. So yeah, pretty good stuff, right? But as soon as you get all that stuff, you never want to see this event again, and it keeps popping up. I swear, I'll get all the stuff I need from this stupid thing, like, post Golem, and I'll have, like, still, like, five or six more after that. And it's like, oh my gosh, I get it. What just happened? Screw off. So yeah, the one part of my day that I get to enjoy in Terraria is quickly vanquished by a bunch of stupid monsters and the stupid, stupid vampires that fly through the air and just kind of bump into you and do like a billion damage hit. And they're just so stupid. I don't like them. Anyways, so let's go to our next event. The Pirates. Now, you might have seen hard in the solar clip section. I don't like these guys either. And yeah, but I will put them in D tier because... Oh, can I add go kill itself? Just keep yourself safe. But yeah, I will put the pirates in D tier. Um, the reason they're above the goblins, I still don't like them just as much as the goblins. Um, the NPC, the pirate, he's he's all right. Cannons are kind of funny. Doesn't really sell anything useful. Um, anyway, let me think. Okay, so the pirates, they do give you a ton of money. Just great. They give you so much cash, and it's pretty useful. Because they also give you a lot of things to save cash, like the coin, the lucky coin that gives you extra money, the um, credit card to give you discounts, the coin gun, which is a great damage dealer, does kind of siphon away your money though. Like that's just the same as Goblin Tinker, so I don't know what the deal is. You do more damage at the cost of a ton of money. Um, Pirate Staff also is great. So yeah, honestly, pretty good event. If you just look at the drops and loot tables, like, wow, that's pretty good. Infinite flight mount, a cool mini boss, infinite farming technically, all the gold furniture. Wow. But, same problem as the goblins and the solar eclipse. They appear way too often. After one event, I'm done with them. I don't want to see them again, you know? If I, Unless I'm specifically looking for, like, coin gun or something, then sure. But, it, you know, it... They spawn in naturally any- they don't even- they spawn in, um... Their spawner is so easy to get. The pirate map? Just go, like, kill things at the ocean. Spawn- wait for, like, one of these two events to happen and go to the ocean and... Spawn in goblins or spawn in- Can pirates drop pirate maps? Can they? I actually don't know. Spawn in, like, King Slime or something. Or just kill stuff at the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, really not hard to get these summons, and I think they're way more annoying when they happen naturally. You know, I think that's how most things happen in this game. So yeah, that's the pirates. Next up, I keep, why do I keep moving it? I just gotta keep it still. It's the Frost Legion. I'm gonna put these guys in B tier. There, not really much to say about it. They drop snow. That's it. They are a fun seasonal event, and they give you Santa Claus. Cool. Get it? Snow globe. All right. Next real event is the Ethereum Goblins. This one, a lot of people don't really like this event, but I kind of like it, honestly. I'm going to put it in um, A tier. The reason I want to put it in A tier, uh, instead of like B or C, is I don't know, tower defense? I'm quite the tower defense fan. I like my plants versus zombies, I like my balloons, you know. And um, the ogre looks like a grown-up goblin tinker and you get to beat him up. But yeah, the items are pretty cool. Sentries is as a whole subsection of... Um, Summoner is very nice. A lot of the items that you get from the event from the Tavern Keeper can be used in like melee speed builds and other things. The sentries are very cool. They're nice to add to any summoner build. Oh, the accessories are actually pretty strong in terms of summoner damage. And most of the weapons are like really, really good. Was it the uh, the Phoenix Bow is all right. The Ghastly Glaive is all right. The Toma Infinite Wisdom it's okay. Betsy is insanely hard if you fighter like when you're supposed to like I don't know how on earth you're supposed to multitask fighting a, a big boss um, while you're um, fighting all the stupid guys maybe if you have a bunch of friends which <laughs> uh, yeah that, that, that's ever gonna happen nobody likes this event but I think it's pretty good as a, as a kind of a summoner player I think it's my second favorite class I used to love summoner but, eh, eh. And we yeah, Ethereum Goblin Army, good job. People think you're boring, but at least you don't occur naturally. And you don't even kill NPCs, so yeah. So next one, I guess I've kind of gone in order, but that really hasn't been... Is the Frost and Pumpkin Moon. Instant S tier, these are the best events in the game. 
best ones. It's no, no doubt they're the best. And do you know why? It's because not only are they fun, not only are they challenging, not only are their drops amazing, but they also don't occur naturally. There's some that are kind of difficult to make. They are post Pantera, I believe, because you need Ectoplasm. But honestly, the rewards and their stuff greatly, it's just worth it. Fighting off hordes and hordes of mini bosses is so fun late game. These even has like a try to get the most points challenge after you beat all the waves. So yeah, these are actually kind of functional in testing out your really late game builds to destroy enemies. And they're really, really fun. They give you some of the best loot in the game for summoners. I'm pretty sure spooky armor is like the best pre mood mode summoner armor. And the Dark Harvest is amazing. For Frost Moon, you get Chain Gun, Laser Pine, North Pole, Blizzard Staff, Snowman Cannon, a bunch of stuff. These two are kind of interchangeable. I like them both equally. I think they're great. Halloween Christmas themed, amazing. The Hexed Branch is a very good mount, and so is the Wolf's Broom. And the, the Toy Tank is funny. Alright. So, yeah, easily the best events in the game. No questions asked. Next is the Lunar Pillars. You know what I find really weird? People hate the Lunar Pillars. I don't, I don't get it, man. It, they're fine, you know? I put it on the same tier as, like, maybe above Blood Moon. Because, alright. Yeah, they're annoying. Killing a bunch of enemies around a thing is annoying and all. But I think they're pretty cool. The themes are nice. The I don't even think of something else. Well, I'll play it while I talk about this. Um, but yeah, the events, they're not that bad. They give you the best, some of the best weapons in the game that light up the moon more. Duh. If you have three friends, it's pretty much perfect because you can kill the three player, the three pillars of the classes that you're, you're, you're playing. And it all works out nicely. All the weapons are really good. They're pretty fun to fight. They're not that big of a deal. Unless they, like, spawn right on your pylon or something. Yeah, that'd be annoying. Then you can just kill them. And they will come back. You get a free Moon Lord spawn after you kill him, which is always nice. Killing them them are kind of annoying, especially the stupid Nebula Pillar and the Solar Pillar. I get the hate, guys. They kind of suck. The enemies are kind of annoying. But once you shred them... Wait, no, not once you shred them. Ooh. Once you start fighting them, you can kill them. And with a group of friends, it's insanely fun to go kind of do mode and try to kill all the enemies as fast as possible to get down the pillar's shield. It's a cool event, cool concept. Does not need to get that much hate. I, I get, I get the thing where after you kill lunatic cultists, you keep spawning it, and that's annoying. But what are you gonna kill lunatic cultists for, unless, but to spawn the pillars? You know, it's like no reason to fight that boss. He doesn't even drop anything good. He doesn't even drop a treasure bag. Like, wow. So yeah, events they're a tier. All right. Next up is the Martian Madness, the final event, and I'm also gonna put this in. S tier. The Martian Saucer is really hard to fight. You know, he's got the giant laser tank that goes through blocks, and it's kind of hard to spot him, but it's not a natural event, <laughs> which makes it instantly better than all the natural events because they don't ruin your day. And yeah, they're kind of hard to fight off, but their drops are fun, their weapons are really good, and the mounts are pretty nice, cosmic car keys especially. The other things they drop. Um, let me think. I know they dropped the Brain Scan Rambler pet, whatever that is. Yeah, mostly this just goes down to the Martian Swasser being amazing. Pretty, pretty good. The Laser Machine Gun from Charge Beam Cannon. The Xeno Popper is good. The Influx Waver is a pretty great item. Yeah, the Martians, they're fun to spawn in and fun to fight, so I don't get why they shouldn't be S tier, you know? The Saucer is not even that hard to avoid, just like dash, dash onto like Unicorn, dash onto Unicorn, going back and forth. They're not, he's not that hard to avoid. So yeah, my event tier list from F tier, E tier, D tier to B tier, B tier, A, 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 S, S, S. So yeah, I would love to see your opinions. It's just a short little video to showcase why my opinions are right and they always matter and I cannot be proven wrong. If you think you can, the monumental challenge of proving me wrong. And saying why you think the, the Blood Moon is F tier and why the Solar Eclipse is S tier, then feel free to. I'd love to start a wildfire in the comments.